Hello everyone. We will continue the topic control break statements or control break events. And in the previous videos, we understood the full concept of control break statements or events. We did the practical part for the same and we got the expected output. Now, in the next two to three videos, we will cover the most most important points related to control break statements or events which we must take care else we will always always get a wrong output so we will start with all those important points one by one now what was the requirement which we took we make some of the we made some of the total amount column based upon payment put so we made some of the total amount column based upon payment mode so firstly we sorted the internal table based upon payment mode now why why we sorted the internal table if we will not sort then how the output will impact this is our first most important point suppose i will comment this sort statement to see the real impact that how the output will impact if you are not sorting so i am commenting this sort statement i will put a breakpoint and i will show you in the debugging mode so that we can understand fully how the output will impact now or we will get a wrong output i will not give any payment mode i will run the program i will go to desktop so currently my internal table has zero records whenever i will execute this query yes the records will come into this internal table i'm executing the query so we have 10 records in the internal table previously we sorted based upon payment mode so when we sorted based upon payment mode all credit card records at the same position all credit card records rather than same position i will say all credit card records are together all debit card records are together all net banking records are together suppose if i will show you this is how our data in the internal table all credit card records together all debit card records together all net banking records together when we sorted the internal table now we are not sorting so whenever we will not sort so this is the data we have firstly two records for the credit card then we have two records for debit card then we have one record for net banking then we have two records for credit card then we have two records for debit card then we have one record for net banking just see how how the output will impact at that point of time firstly add new payment mode so whenever add new payment mode whenever first record will come inside the loop whenever first record will come yes is this a new payment mode yes okay done no problem now add end of payment mode is this the end of payment mode is this on this record our payment mode c ended no sure okay first record is fine now control will come to second record is this a new payment mode no is this is not a new payment mode but is this the end of payment mode c yes this is the end of payment mode c so 100 plus 200 will become 300 and see this is a wrong output wrong output because first two records belongs to one group now previously all c records are together now these first two records 
belongs to one group. These two records belongs to one group. This one record belongs to one group. These two records belongs to one group. These two records belongs to one group. This one record belongs to one group. So total, total, we will get six records in the output. C, output will be 300. D, output will be 700. N, output will be 500. C, output will be 300. D, output will be 700. N, output will be 500. And have you seen if you are not sorting how much the output is impacting? Because if we will not sort, what will happen? SAP will understand that we have first group has only these two records. The same value of payment mode is on first two records. Then we have the same value of payment mode on third and fourth record. Then we have only one record for payment mode. And then we have two records for same payment mode. Then we have two records for same payment mode. Then we have one record for the same payment mode. So in the output, now we will get six, six, six records rather than three. If I will run and you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, and we are getting a wrong output. So if you are sorting the internal table, all records belongs to that group are together. All belongs, all records belongs to second group are together. All records belongs to third group are together. So that's why whenever you are applying control break statements, so just make sure that you are sorting the internal table based upon that particular column. In our current scenario, we are applying, we are making some of total amount column based upon payment mode. So it means all records for a particular payment mode should be together. So we need to sort the internal table. So if we will sort the internal table, only in that case, we will get the right result. Now this is the right result. Now, what is the summary of the video? In this video, we covered the first most important point. Anyways, this point we already, whenever we did the practical, we have written the logic for the same. So first point, always, always take care that you should sort the internal table based upon the column on which you are applying the control break statements or events. Now in the next video, we will again, again cover more, few more important points which we should take care while applying the control break statements or events. So that's it in this video. Thank you.